Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today for our virtual make and take craft, I'm going to show you how to make a piece of artwork using a toilet paper roll painting technique. So it's really simple for this. What you will need will be, of course, some toilet paper rolls, acrylic paint, some scissors, um, a paintbrush and some water, a stiff piece of paper, so either cardstock or watercolor paper, and then also a piece of scrap paper, like a piece of paper that you plan on throwing out that's like stiff, like another piece of cardstock or watercolor paper. So we have all of our supplies here. So here is our piece of paper that we are going to be painting on. And then I have this piece of like, it's like a stiff piece of paper. It just happens to have like a smudge along one edge, so I'm just going to use that for my scrap paper. Now, you can probably tell that these um, toilet paper rolls don't look normal. They kind of look slightly weird. And that is where the scissors come in. And I have a, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to completely cut around here, but I'm going to kind of show you what the technique is supposed to be. I will be using these. This one is just for a sample. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut up to, you know, you're gonna cut into this into it and you're gonna do that all the way around now depending on how big you want it to be so if you were to do that you just keep doing that a couple more times they don't have to be exact like the they don't have to be the exact same size each piece you cut and as you can tell it'll it will flare out like that and then oops, set this aside you will be left after they have all been cut you'll be left with something like this so the whole point of this is you want this to scooch out like that and you are going to dip it into paint now I think what I'm going to end up doing to make this a little simpler on myself is I'm going to use my paintbrush that's why we have the water I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint the acrylic paint onto here and, and and dip it. Dip it a little bit and then also maybe, you know, get it in any pieces that are missing. And then the scrap piece of paper is to get the excess off. You just want to get the excess acrylic paint. You don't want it to be super saturated with acrylic paint. You want it to be like a thin layer of it. So the scrap piece of paper is to get the excess off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you are going to kind of pat it onto here a couple of times and I have three different colors I have green purple and blue so I'm going to make some green purple and blue and this particular painting technique it's it ends up looking like a dandelion that's another if you were to search for this um, painting technique online it would also say a dandelion painting technique that's another way to search for it so I'm going to set all of this aside. Actually, I'm going to need this tray because I'm, to make it easier on myself, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the paint onto, I'm going to put the paint onto this tray and then that way I can, I can, push the, um, I can push the toilet paper rolls into it. So I want it to be more spread out. So see, I'm kind of spreading the paint out. So I'm going to set up my paints. So we're going to squirt our green, our blue, and our purple onto this tray and then make sure they are spread out. Now I only have this on the top part because I have two other colors of paint so I want to explain this beforehand. I have some white acrylic paint and some black acrylic paint. Now the reason I have those is once I have finished making the dandelions with these with the purple, the green, and the blue, I am going to use a little bit of white paint. I'm just going to dip the paintbrush into the white paint and um, 
and apply some white to apply a little bit of white here and there on on the dandelions and then the black is to make the stems of the dandelions so this should be enough for now we can always add more so let me put my paintbrush away Alrighty. so we're gonna use our first one just kind of scooch it down And this is also where this paintbrush, the paintbrush, can come. All right, so that is our, whoop, we have that, and now this is our scrap piece of paper. So you wanna. I just want to get the excess off so that I can then, on our main piece of paper, okay, I'm set that to the side again. Use our big piece. That's pretty cool looking right there. Is our purple one, so we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our green one. So, I want to be careful, try not to get um, any purple on this one. We want to now we want to paint. I stupidly decided not to put gloves on, but I would suggest if you're doing this, because it is a bit, it's not hundred really messy, but it is a bit messy. You want to make sure, if you want to, I would say put like some like latex logo or something on to protect your hands. Now the whole point of this is we are going to just do the three different colors on our going to do with this to make it a little bit simpler is I'm going to have the purple I'm going to do a purple green one and a purple blue one so. well, as you can tell I'm getting paint all over my hands <laughs> but more to here. Okay. 
that is what it looks like so far. This kind of looks a little bit interesting, but it's also very messy because we're getting the excess paint off. So this is what it looks like so far. You could continue to do more and more and add more and more layers, um, but I am going to stop where I am. I'm gonna continue with the black and the white. So let's get our paintbrush. Clean off the green, it's on there. some of our black onto this tray that I'm using as a painting canvas. Make sure we have a point that our paintbrush is at a point. And then we are just going to paint our There's our stems, and then as a finishing touch, we are going to we're going to grab some of this purple that's on here, and we're gonna sort of pat things into the middle, and then add some white over everything. not now a solid white blob. Kind of pat it into the middle. touch just some little bits of white so let's make sure we really get our paintbrush clean using the to uh, toilet paper roll painting technique. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it inspired you to make, you know, to make your own artwork using a toilet paper roll. It's it's interesting using something that you wouldn't usually consider an uh, a art medium, like something to be used to make art, like a toilet paper roll. You wouldn't think of it, but it's able to be used. So it's kind of a cool, unique um, way to make art. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone.